Welcome to the Iowa Clinic. The Iowa Clinic is offering patients a less invasive approach when it comes to cardiac catheterization, using the wrist gain access instead of the traditional method through an artery in the groin. Dr. Nasser Khan explains the procedure. With the transradial angiogram, we get access from the wrist. Uh, so we make a small puncture right here, and then we navigate the catheter up to the heart, and the rest is the same as we would do from the groin. The main difference is the recovery period. If you ask a patient uh, about his or her experience of an angiogram, mostly they are going to tell you about the post-angiogram part. During the angiogram, it's pretty comfortable for them. For them, they're okay. But after the angiogram, if it's done from the groin, they will tell you about the experience they have of lying flat on the back, having back pain, not being able to go to the bathroom, using urinals, and then someone coming and pushing their groin with fingers to stop bleeding or putting a metal clamp, which is very uncomfortable. On the other hand, if we do it from the wrist by the radial angiogram, it's an easy process. After we're done with the angiogram, we take the tube out, we put a small band that stays in place for a couple hours, and the patient is able to get up from the bed right away he or she can go to the bathroom, doesn't have to use the urinals, and can start moving around immediately. So that's a huge difference. I definitely prefer it from the wrist now, from the radial approach. There is no question about it. As I said, you know, there is less complication uh, proved by research, and also patients love it. If you ask any patient who had both procedures done, I mean, procedures done by both ways, they would definitely would prefer the radial one because it's um, less complication, it's comfortable. Um, it makes the whole experience a very good one for the patients. Um, especially if the patient is obese or has back pain, then definitely, you know, radial makes a huge difference for them. Now we are kind of catching up with the rest of the world. In the United States, you know, the, it has is gaining increased popularity over the last few years, but still, I would say around 10% of the centers in, in the United States do radial angiogram routinely. And, but we are here. I mean, we, are, uh, we started this at Methodist to do routinely here and uh, we offer a radial angiograms at Methodist, so it's important for people in Central Iowa to know that uh, you know, they can, we can help them with this, and I definitely uh, can tell them that this is a better care for patients. I've had two groin angiograms, and in both cases, uh, the first case was after a heart attack back in 96. Um, in both cases, uh, you have to lay flat for several hours afterwards. You have to have a sandbag on your groin. Uh, your back ends up hurting if you're like me, a large person especially. Uh, it becomes very painful to lay on your back for a long time. Or if you have back problems, it, it hurts. Uh, and uh, this procedure, I had to hold my arm straight for a couple hours, but I was able to bend my elbow as long as I didn't bend my wrist. And they put an elastic bandage on my wrist, and basically I could do just about anything as long as I didn't lift much or as long as I didn't do much bending of that wrist for the first day, and then I couldn't lift I think it was five pounds for four or five days, and that was it. It was really great that um, because Des Moines is centrally located and uh, Dr. Kahn does this procedure that I was able to come here um, because as far as I know, there aren't any other uh, doctors in the area or even in Iowa at this point that do this procedure and certainly not within close driving distance for me. For more information on cardiovascular services at the Iowa Clinic, visit iowaclinic.com.